So I'm gluing in my stringers right now. I've got this one that dried last night. I've got to put one more here at the top edge. I've got to cut out this bulkhead right here and right back here as well because this stringer is longer than uh, the seam that's going to connect these pieces. I'm going to use this uh, as a glue surface. So that's why I want it to be longer than this bulkhead. That's why I cut that out. So what I'm going to do right now is trace where this cut here needs to be and the cut back here needs to be. And then I'll glue these up. So I'm stacking them up like they're going to be. And then I'm going to trace around them so that I know how deep to cut my slot. And that's going to go in there just like so. Got a nice flush fit here. So now I'll start to glue it up. I first want to mark the center point of my hole. These pieces here have already been marked for center lines. Here I'm using my zigzag pattern because I really want good contact here. Try to use this as a squeegee on the way up. Recover some of the glue that dripped. And we'll very quickly do all four layers and then clamp everything in place. Clamp this now while I go ahead and glue the... Well, you get the idea. It's just stacking these. It's going to be four layers thick. And we'll build it up on the other side as well. Well, you can see here, I've got my stringers and bulkheads all in place. The stringers here are clamped with clamps and duct tape. They're drying. So by lunchtime, this ought to be ready to go ahead and put the outer skins on. So you can see here, I've got two skins being glued up, uh, port and starboard. I've got, my, uh, I've got weights on my little uh, backer plates here. I use my ruler. Uh, against one edge to make sure that these joints are uh, in a straight line. I did that for all four joints. I went ahead, put a nice uh, zigzag pattern of glue underneath this joint plate here. Now, if you notice on your cardboard, you'll have one side that has more noticeable grain lines than the other. I want the smoother side to be the outside of the boat. That's why the grain lines here are up, because I want this face here with the joint plate to be on the inside and so that way my outside skin will be perfectly smooth. Uh, I just installed these uh, connector plates here. I'm going to place a rough cut centerpiece here. I'm going to then trace it around the outside, cut it, go ahead and glue it down. Then once it dries, then I'm going to cut out the center section. So I'll have a solid boat and I'll hollow out uh, that part afterwards. So you can see, maybe you can see, this side here doesn't have as visible a grain as this side does, so I want this to be my outside. So I'm going to lay this piece like this. I'm going to line it up here uh, with this. If I glue this piece down now, I can't guarantee that this edge right here is perpendicular to the long axis of the boat. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut my uh, center cockpit section. All right, I got everything ready to go. My three pieces. Here, I've got my longitudinal lines marked. I'm going to use those as the reference. I'm going to start by lining up my centerpiece because that one really is the most important. If I run the glue in here first, uh, gravity will be working against me and it'll be trying to go down deeper into the cardboard when I want it to be falling into place. So I'm going to place glue on this surface here where gravity's not a problem but then along the edges of this piece here, and then flip it over and set it down. That way the glue uh, will definitely have a good adhesion to this because I put it on here first, and then it can fall into all these cracks. Here we go. I've got it flipped upside down. I'm going to retrace where my glue is going to go. Because I'm going to glue this first 
so that the glue falls into place again. But I'm going to double up, as you'll see, I'm going to put glue on both surfaces just as a precautionary measure. Hard to do. I'll let that dry for a while, refill my glue, and do the other side just like it. 